Indeed. So spawning in the bottom left, we have Hordion uh, of Echo. And uh, giving a shout out to his team as he requested. Probably looking to do some sort of aggressive play this time to take his opponent's uh, early expand off guard as he has been doing each of these games so far. And his opponent is going to be Mixed Fruits Sion spawning at the top position here on Daybreak. Uh, probably will see uh, the same build, not trying to put anything past Sion, uh, not trying to say he cannot uh, di uh, diversify his play. But since it's been uh, since it's been so effective the last time around, and Daybreak uh, walking distances are only mildly longer than on Cloud Kingdom, I would not be surprised if he tried that again. Absolutely. Oh, I said it again. I said um, absolutely. I I try and stop saying that, but it's a terrible, terrible curse. Just absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> So an outstanding Absolutely. play from Sion last time, and I, I do hope to see that again, actually. I know it would be repetition, but it's just been so lovely to watch, the harass, the way he's keeping his opponent down. And then also seeing how Hordeon will react, will grow, and develop a counter to that is going to be interesting to see as well. So it's it's very much something I would like to see again. As much as diversity may be the flavor of most people. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You, what are you doing? So, uh, what? Are you trying to? Are you trying to get in my mind again? No. Okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Uh, I'm not Doctor X. We have the pool going down straight after uh, the hatchery. And uh, hmm, no expansion, but he has enough money. There it goes. The expansion command center going down as well. Um, I would expect a bunker, double gas, factory, but new. No, never know. Maybe Sion will surprise us. Maybe he will go for two more barracks after this and a very aggressive play to follow it up. But. He has been doing the same consistent style each game. There goes the double gas. The factory will follow up. And Hordeon will possibly have to react a lot better than the previous game. Not possibly have to. He will have to react a lot better than in the previous games. Where his defense against the harass wasn't as optimum as it could have been. Definitely wasn't uh, as optimal as it could have been. Have to 100% agree with that. I mean, the Banshees messed him up royally. And even before that, I was quite surprised that those couple of Hellions that snuck into his natural got as many kills on the drones as they did. I mean, what the hell? They killed 12 drones or so. And the wall was up. The queens were there. So, you know... The queens were out of position injecting on the third base, uh, spreading creep by the third yeah. base. And there we see the factory going down. This is becoming trademark Sion now. Yes, it is. If he ever uh, takes part in the next tournament, we do. He might be, you know, known for his play because... You know, a lo uh, not a lot of people is watching this, but those that do are mostly the guys that want to play or are playing in uh, this or the next tournament. Uh, so they, I, I think they will be watching pretty intently and look for ways on how to beat this guy uh, if he repeats the same thing next time. And, oh, this is interesting. Double gas. Oh, okay, so I got fooled. He's, it's... he's actually got the... Uh... The hatchery down at his third base as opposed to blocking off so he's actually more vulnerable yeah. this game than in the previous one to these hellion attacks but he is spreading creep as about 30 seconds sooner he put those creep tumors down than in the previous game so we will have faster moving queens but these this hellion will scout the fact that the wall is much more vulnerable than in the previous game and he will abuse that to the maximum potential of his forces Definitely, and yeah, we do have the same build. We have uh, the Hellions being produced. Cloak with the Banshee is on the way. Uh, the Bunker in a very similar position. That's a that's a good position actually, but not very... I mean, um, 
not very good versus Ling runbys and stuff. It protects your natural more than your main base because in case of Bending's busts, you just bust down the depots at the top of the ramp and stream your Lings inside the base. And that bunker would do nothing about it, but it's the map, you know. There's no other way basically to wall off end time here on Daybreak. So Sion pulls his Hellions quite far away, possibly expecting some sort of speedling to come and attack, but nothing has come out for him. And Hordeon is already putting down his Spore Crawlers. He knows what's coming. He's been hit by it in the previous games. So he's going to have to have his Spore Crawlers in much better position to previously to be able to defend. Yeah, he is getting the Spore Crawlers just for detection around the mineral line. He will need the lair, so I wouldn't mind him uh, building a little faster lair. And these Hellions will not do as much as they did last time, because right now we have a faster Roach Warren. Actually, <laughs> come to think of it, we do have a Roach Warren. <laughs> and uh, there, are, there are already Roaches out. Uh, roaches were the unit that I kept missing in the previous two games. Absolutely, they were there in the second game, but they mainly were dodged and avoided until the yeah. point where they just got killed by a group of marauders and henceforth after that they weren't used as a unit very often. So the creep spread is going to start pushing down towards the fourth uh, base of Ordeon. But interestingly, I've only just noticed this is is only a half uh, base down there, so it's not similar to the ladder versions. So the Zerg might have no. to change his style from what he usually does. There are only uh, five mineral patches there, and a rich West Vespian Geyser. This is the GSL version of the map, so uh, it makes for an interesting game because uh, as a Zerg, you get more gas if you take that base, but you get less minerals, so that way you can invest into more, uh, you know, gas-heavy units into more hive tech. But you cannot replenish uh, and rely on the Zerglings as much as you would, because that's a huge mineral thing. So you have a choice. You take that base, or you take the more further away corner expansion at the 11 o'clock, uh, which has, you know, full mineral patches, two gas geysers, so it depends on how well you can adapt. And this bench is still going on and killing stuff around here. Yeah, it's just whittling down the forces of his opponent, catching any Maynards that happen, any... Uh, units that are too far away from the rest of the army. While Sion takes his third base, which has been scouted, obviously, but Sion is just in a very good position at the moment to continue on into a nice macro game. And he knows his opponent has made a lot of roaches, so he's probably abusing that by getting out the marauders, getting out a good marine count, and just... Well... It's, uh, the build is designed to do that, you know, you build Hellions to force Marauders, uh, to force Roaches, sorry, and once the Roaches are out, you already should have enough Marauders to uh, be prepared to deal with them. Meanwhile, the Banshees is the real annoyance uh, for the Zerg while all of this is getting on, so, oh, two Baneling Nests finishing! Two? What? Where? Yeah, just the second one just now finished somewhere, That's... or was cancelled. No, two oh, yeah, at the third. Are finished, one of the natural, one of the third base. Yeah. That's hilarious. Maybe Hordon forgot that he already queued up a Baneling Nest beforehand. But what we do have on the way is Hive, is Spire at the same time, and we do have Pathogen Glands, so uh, this will all time out that the first Infestors uh, will, uh, will be out when the first Corruptors uh, you know, finish uh, popping out, and then you can start morphing Brewdorks straight away. It's There's very nice to time down. the out. main middle uh, choke, the northern choke point, and most of Hordeon's army was on a move command, so he lost a lot of Zerglings there to the composition of his opponent. His opponent's just going to be able to push him back now, and forcing a lot of Banelings out of his opponent, that's gas he doesn't want to be spending into that direction right now. Definitely. He wants to be saving up that gas for the Infestors. He is only getting three Infestors or so versus this. There goes the Stim, and with the Stim, this army will not last long. The Banelings were lagging behind because the speed for them is not yet finished. But they do connect quite well with all the Marines. And this force is wiped out, basically. Uh, this base is defended, and Sion has to retreat. This will give uh, Hordon crucial time to get his Infestors up and start gathering up energy on them. 
and uh, more. Ba oh my God, barracks galore back in uh, Sion's base. Is he building a fourth command center somewhere? Yeah, he is. Just now started. So, the workers count killed is at zero. So this is very different to the previous game. Uh, Hordeon has been unharassed. Hasn't had any options. Hasn't had any of his options restricted by losing drones. So he's capable of doing a lot of damage, and Sion even loses a bunch of his own units to his rally points. There is a double medevac drop, meanwhile, going on in the base. Uh, Hordon saw it with his advancing army because the medevacs flew just over the top of them, and he built spine crawlers immediately around the Greater Spire but was too slow to react with his army. Maybe he thought, hey, I can attack him and defend the drop at the same time. Well, that was not the case. Uh, Sion is looking to take a fourth base, taking down that Overlord and Horden immediately on it and going for the counterattack. Absolutely. Sion is looking slightly further ahead in supply at the moment, but that is due to the fact that Hordeon is stocking up, is preparing to just mass out that Death Ball army. He's getting all his upgrades, plus three Adrenal Glands about to finish. So he's going to be very strong once those are out and completed. And he's just mopping up most of Sion's army yet again. He's trying to he's just trying to keep the infantry numbers low, but he's starting to be very, very uh, cost inefficient right now. So once he realizes that he's just going to pull back, reinforce with more Zerglings, and look at this, he's he's actually sinking too many minerals into that Zergling production. Zerglings are a unit that is very good with adrenal glands, which I do believe are finished. Yes, they are. Uh, this Banshee is harassing uh, this attempted fourth base for Hordon, and as we can see, he is going to be relying on those links. So he wants more minerals. The more minerals he can get, the better. Therefore, he's not taking the central base, even though he's got creep spread. Uh, all over to it, Sion is pushing out on the map, uh, that's a move that will help him secure this fourth base, oh my god, that's a lot of banelings morphing. And Sion is taking up three more starports, having seen the Corruptors, so he knows that his army needs to get those Vikings mixed into it, and he's actually just going to push up here and be able to take down quite a few of these investors that used a lot of their energy, getting all of the medevacs very low on health. Very low on health indeed. One just just a breath from those corruptors would kill them. One, two, three, four, go down fifth. All of them will go down uh, actually and this you know this army right now has no healing. Are there any Medivax out on the field at all? No, no, zero Medivax out and 86 SUVs, that's really too a little too many of an SUV you wanna be having versus Zerg as a Terran. Um so as that base finishes, Hordon will have access to additional minerals uh, because he does not really need gas at this moment uh, very much. Oh, scratch that! He just made six Broodlords, so there goes the gas. So the Broodlords will start pushing across the map, but Sion has quite a few Vikings, and once he gets a Raven out to complement that so he can stop his opponent's attacks from hitting his Vikings, he will be in a very solid position. Uh, yes, he will, and all of this will go come come down basically to micro the Vikings versus the infestors and uh, the splitting versus the banelings. Um, not that many broodlords yet, only six of them, which is still a manageable number, as long as that number does not cross, let's say, twelve or thirteen. The broodlords can be managed by other units while not losing all of your army, but as the numbers go higher and higher and higher, it gets progressively more difficult. Now Thors are being produced as well for Sion, and he is taking another base, trying to uh, stay uh, even on the number of bases with his opponents. These links just checking out the central watchtower, saying, hey, what's up? Okay, okay, we're just gonna run back, you can have your watchtower, whatever. The links did manage to take out three tanks, though, and see the fact that the drop was going out, if he was paying attention to that. So Doesn't look like lands, it, because... And the links are just gonna pull back, but they can be too late to stop most of the spine crawlers from going down. And this drop is just kind of used as a distraction by Sion, so that he can take down this fourth base in a piece, and that will go down blazingly fast. 
Uh, the drop at the main of Hordon did not do much damage other than occupy the army of the Zerg and Sion is using the immobility and the slow movement speed of uh, the Zerg army right now of that composition.